Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why is there no contact? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you like a person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darling. So we are going to talk about today a couple of different questions. We're going to talk about, first of all, why is there no communication? I know the most frustrating thing when you're out of communication with somebody is like, why is that happening? And that really hinders the healing process. So really, we need to find out why is that going on? You know, what do they want to say to you? How their feelings are? Will there be communication again? And um, what do you need to know about this situation? And what blessings are coming in for you? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so why is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one that they're out of communication with, why is Cancer's love interest not communicating with them right now? Show me cards need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the hangman, okay. We got the wheel of fortune, the judgment, moon card, four swords, page of pentacles, sun card, the bottom of the deck. Ah, oh, there's a procrastination going on, obsessive thinking. Mm. So it's like, I feel like from this particular card with the overall energy, it's like, the stairs are going, they, they kind of feel like, all right, well, I'm going to take these stairs, I'm going to take this pathway, but then I'm going to go right through. So I feel like they're like, all right, you know, what's going to happen if I open this up, right? And it's kind of bothering them a little bit. All right, so we see, because they, they're trying to make some kind of decision here. All right, so let's look at this. Queen of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We both see a queen and a pentacles, and we see a, a, a page of pentacles. And queens, queen of pentacles can be like, a, let's talk about it. It could be a mother energy, okay? It could be someone who's trying to be supportive and nurturing for this person. It could be a lack of support or nurturing. Uh, they're concerned maybe that if they come forward that you're not going to be as supportive as they'd like you to. Um, also, the Queen of Pentacles is, could be talking about, man, I need to be patient, I need to get some advice, and I need to figure out what is the next steps for me pertaining to the long term, because Pentacles can represent money, family, children, long term commitment. All right, and uh, we see Ace of Wands, there's maybe concerns about a new uh, beginning. Um, a fresh start here with a page of wands in a passionate way. They may want some kind of passionate situation here and they feel stuck, okay, with the hangman energy. They feel a sense of stagnation. And, uh, you know, they're kind of like, all right, I need to see this from a new way and a new perspective. We see that the Wheel of Fortune is here. So, again, when I, whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune, it's like saying, there's issues around, this is the wrong time, you know, this is the wrong time for me. This isn't the right time for me. Um, and Judgment Card talks about an apology, a reconciliation. So they're wanting things to happen at the right time. And so, and they're a little bit confused about what to do about this. And they keep going back and forth about this decision, okay? Um, you may even be, they may even be in your dreams with the Moon Card energy being there because they're doing a lot of thinking about you, okay, with the Four of Swords energy. You're on their mind, you're heavy on their mind. Um, and as you saw with the bottom of the deck, the Devil card talks about procrastination, right? Avoidance. Mm-hmm. And a lot of heavy thinking. Because we see they're really thinking about contacting you, Page of Pentacles energy. But they want to do it when they're in the most happiest place with the Sun card energy. Because they were like, all right, I want to be successful. I want to be successful. 
because the apology, the reconciliation, they have some kind of barriers there right now. It could be because of that potential passionate situation, right? That ace of wands could be because of work, you know, some kind of creative endeavor, something that they feel like they want to explore there with the page of wands. I'm going to have to get more information to see, so let's see. So why is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Cancer's love interest out of communication with Cancer? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out, Cancer. Writer, clouds, coffin, person card, scythe card, whip card, letter, emotions, ring. Yeah, you can see that. Now, the writer card talks about news, all right, or messages, or um, like the Knight of Wands energy, an abrupt, passionate action, um, lack of commitment, being confused, moon card energy, about something to do with an ending, stopping, or completing, or needing to take a break. We see the person card could be you, could be the love interest, could be infringing party. They made an abrupt decision because of arguments and fights, whip card energy. Um, there was something to do with this letter, message, or document. Uh, they were concerned about of a lot of emotions. Could even be money, too, and a commitment. Like, they were concerned that, oh, this is going to infringe upon you know, my work situation, and I don't want it to infringe upon my work situation. So, so it was kind of like a little abrupt thing that they did there with the side card energy, but definitely an abrupt decision, okay? Side card energy talks about something that was hidden, you know, like cut things away, cut things out. And why? Because of arguments and fights about needing to take a break or end or stop or complete, um, you know, a commitment. Ring card energy. And also, they're highly emotional there with the fish card energy about the commitment, about engagement, about not wanting to repeat the same patterns here also. So let's keep going here, Cancer. All right, let's use these cards here. Why is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Cancer's love interest out of communication with them right now? Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to See, book card, romance, wisdom, nurturing, happiness, new love, single and available to pursue, missing you, isolation. See this confusion that's going on? The clouds card's coming out. They're not sure what they want. Yeah, they're not sure what they want. They need to gain some kind of knowledge about this. So they, they want to ground themselves, they want to focus on themselves, and they want to be single and available to pursue, or they want some time alone. And they have these romantic feelings for you, and they do sense that there's going to be a positive outcome, so they miss you. But they, on the same token, they're like, I need to make the best decision for me. You know, from my life experience, I need to make the best decision here. You know, is there love here, Ace of Cups energy, or should I look at new love, Ace of Cups energy? I need time to think about this. Okay, so let's see what they want to say to you. Okay, let's find out what they want to say to you. Let's look at these cards here. What does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're out of communication with, what does Cancer's love interest want to say, Cancers? What do they want to say to you? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Thank you. Boundaries. Worthiness. Spiritual maturity, sexuality, compatibility. And there's a reviving thing, looking for the sign. What did I say about the timing thing? Mm -hmm. So let's see what they want to say, Cancer. Huh. They said that they want to have boundaries with you, or they have this sense of frustration. They don't feel like you're valuing them. But they do see a path here with you and them together. All right. 
they find you very sexy, very attractive, and they see that you're very compatible for them. And that they do want to revive this connection. They're looking for the right sign here to bring this into balance because they do see that there could be something that could grow here, that they could see some, you know, work or evidence of a foundation here. Okay, so let's find out how they feel about you. How does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they're out of communication with, how does Cancer's love interest feel about Cancer? Cancer, we show the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Okay, so Cancer. Obviously, I felt that there was a lot of, oh man, they felt like you're a blessing to them. And they do feel like you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of, um, a lot of opportunities. And they feel that they're trying to protect themselves. They want to tell you this truth, Cancer. And they felt like there was a situation, the situation was very sudden for them, that you fulfill their desires there. And uh, there is an abundance here for them and a lack of flexibility that needs to change. Yeah, some of you guys, this is definitely a situation where a person's work is involved too. So they feel like, man, you're such a blessing to me and that they don't want to go by what others are saying. That's what I feel like. I feel like they want to be free to do their own thing. And they feel like they want to heal the connection with the tree card energy. They are hoping, you know, they're, 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 they feel like I want things to be so simple, so clear cut. And I felt so shocked and surprised by this connection that this was, this is more than I, uh, you know, bargained for. I feel like this fulfills my desires. This is everything that I wanted. And I'm starting to see evidence of this, but I'm still really confused about the situation because we see that there's abundance here and a lack of flexibility, which makes me feel a little bit standoffish. Okay, so your person, if it's not involving money, your person, it took them by surprise, they weren't expecting it, and it was a little bit more for them to take than they were expecting. And like, it's made them feel like I need to put boundaries in place, and um, I'm a little bit hesitant to move forward here because I still need to do some changes here. I still need some changes to happen for me. Hmm. Because they're like, they need some flexibility. That's what they feel like. They feel like they need some flexibility and they need to see some big changes or they need something to transform in their situation here. Okay. So what do you need to know about this situation that you don't know that could help you? So what does cancer need to know about this love connection that they're out of communication with that they don't know that they need to know that can help them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. We got the moon card. We got the zombie card, which is talking about ghosts from the past. We got happiness. We got snake card energy. We got wishes fulfilled. We got the cat's card. We got attack card. We got regrets. And we have the house card. So what do you need to know? What do you need to know about the situation with this person? Well, the moon card talks about romance, but there is some stuff coming up pertaining to the past which could surprise you about the situation. But it could be a happy surprise, okay? We see that there is a lot of desires in this connection, Cancer, and wishes to move forward, but it's like there is some sly and slick energy here. Or there's not complete honesty about it, okay? Um, we see that there is a sense of being attacked about that and then a lot of regrets about being attacked or attacking someone about the situation when it comes to house and family and sta stability and stableness. Okay, so let's find out, Cancer, if you will get communication from this person in the next few months. Okay, positive card for yes, negative card for no. The person that Cancer is out of communication with Will they get communication with this person in the next few months? Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, person card. 
ring card, letter card, all neutral cards. I would say that there's some things yet to be decided. I can also say this in the sense when I see more neutral cards, okay? When I see no cards, it's like no way, okay? So there's still a possibility for this person to contact you because we do see the letter card energy. But I feel like when I see this kind of set up with a person card, person card could be you, could be the love interest. It looks like, for me, it seems like it's, it's dependent on you to make the first contact here. It's not saying that necessarily is the case, but there's still some things yes to be decided. So it's not saying no, okay? Cause I do feel like there's gonna be some kind of text message letter or document. There's a commitment to it, but it may take a little bit longer, okay? Moon card is saying that the romance, you're gonna gain knowledge. The key card does point to yes, you're going to get communication. So I feel like in this case scenario with you guys, Cancer, I feel like it's gonna happen, but it just may take a little bit longer. Star card talks about not losing hope for a fresh start, new opportunity. And it could be very abrupt and very sudden, by the way, also. It could just happen out of the blue, okay? Because um, key card talks about an opportunity, sudden communication. We see a person card, romance, and hopeful, a commitment to gain knowledge about a fresh start, new opportunity, or because they may have knowledge of you getting involved with someone new, okay? That's a trial card energy. Or for some of you, okay, there may be a child involved with this situation, but I feel like in this situation, not for you guys. So I feel like it's more or less they may hear about or get knowledge about a new person. And then as a result, this text box is gonna come out of the blue. And yes, you're gonna get communication. So it's either yet to be decided, it's gonna be because of you guys, okay? Or it's gonna take a little bit longer. That's why, because they're all maybe cards. So they're not, I would like, I like to see hardcore, yes. But the key card does point to the fact you're going to get communication, so. And the text message points to the fact it's gonna be a text message letter document and it's gonna be sudden. So you will get communication from this person. It may take a little bit longer than three months or maybe because you may have initiated or because they found out about you, you know, being with someone new, okay? All right, so let's find out what blessings you got coming in for you. What blessings does Cancer have coming in for them when it comes to romance? Show me cards you need, see? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see courage, friendship, and trust. And we see this is a person who's gonna be a beloved. Someone who's prepare your life for a life partner. There's going to be someone who's gonna become your life partner here. Yeah, there is a person that's coming in that is a beloved. And they're gonna be very compassionate here. They're seeing be patient here. So courage and strength and a friendship, guys. And you're gonna to have to take a leap of faith. This person, it looks like there's going to be a life partner coming in here who's very compassionate, you just have to be patient. There's a healing energy here and you're about to receive it, receive a lot of abundance here. So going forward, because you know I like to be very clear cut, okay. So your life is going to go to another level of commitment here, okay. So you need to have the strength, courage, or confident energy not to have boundaries or not to be defensive in a friendship here have trust in it because this person looks like it's going to turn into a life partner here okay and be compassionate about this situation and be patient something will be healed here and you're going to receive a lot of abundance you're going to see signs of it all right my beautiful cancers i love you guys so much if you guys like that hit that like button let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys another date or two have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.